Next question. Um, what are the best weighted exercises to do if you don't have access to uh, a climbing board or a hang board? Good question. First of all, we need a weight. Yeah. And it's important to reflect that there are a lot of different exercises. Yeah. So I'm just going to show you a couple of favorites because there's so many that you can do on there. Yeah. One is going to focus on the forearm and then the other is around the shoulder and relevant climbing movements. So first one, let's look yeah. at the uh, forearm flexor and extensor exercise. What we're gonna do is we're gonna set it up so that our forearm lies along the back of our thigh so it's supported through its entire length. Yeah. And then our wrist is lying just above our knee so that our hand can flex yeah. and roll over the front of our knee. And what we're going to do from here is we're going to let that hand roll to the front. We're going to release mm -hmm. the fingers a little bit, just yeah. still keeping control so yeah. you don't want to drop the weight on your toes. Yeah, yeah. And you're going to bring that hand all the way up yeah. and at the top you're going to close it up so you're going to yeah. come a little bit further than where you started. Yeah. All the way back down and rolling up. Yeah. Oh. Good, so remember what we talked about, making sure that that forearm is staying all the way down. Yeah. And if you find that it's really uncomfortable and it's stretching you too far, yeah. if your hat, your forearm stays in that position, don't go as far. Yeah. Just go to the point of comfort of yeah. where, what you think you can take yeah. and the range of motion that you have yeah. in that movement. So just go that far and then yeah. curl it back up again. Yeah. So let's have a look about, maybe let's go for eight on that side. Okay, so you're probably going a little bit too far, so stop about there and yeah. then come back up. That's it. And just and then flex it all the way up to there. Yeah, yeah exactly. You want to try and keep both sides of the dumbbell level, yeah. not rotating around the wrist. And again, nice control movement, movement yeah. all the way through. If you don't have a heavier weight to work on, yeah. but you want to increase the difficulty of yeah. this exercise, then you really slow the movement. So let's try one. We go up and down in ten seconds. So oh okay, my god, 10, my, my hands could explode. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Can you see how much harder that is? That was so much harder, yeah. And the weight's exactly the same. Yeah, yeah. So that's a really good way of working with, you know, fixed weights. If yeah. I only have a ten kilogram dumbbell at home, yeah. I can still do strength work by just yeah. really slowing things down. Yeah. Good little trick for for nice. strength training. So the other thing we can do yeah. for the forearm is now to work the extensors, yeah. so those muscles on the back of our forearm. Mm -hmm. Is again forearm, yeah. rolling against the flat against my uh, thigh, yeah. and again the wrist in exactly the same position as before. Yeah. And then what I'm going to do is rotate that hand yeah. down from the front there, bring yeah. knuckles high, yeah. coming back down, rotating, bringing those knuckles high. Yeah. What I'll find is that as I bring my wrist up. I want to bring the elbow up as well and really help that movement. Yeah. That's not what we want to do. We want to try and keep really strict yeah. and making sure that elbow is always planted yeah. nice and low. Yeah. What you'll probably find is that this is way too hard yeah. because typically when you're doing your extensor exercise, you want to do half the weight yeah. of your flexor exercise. Yeah. That's a really good exercise, just some basic weights that you can do to work yeah. on the forearm muscle. Yeah. So both the flexor exercise, which is this yeah. direction, and then the extensor exercise yeah. that. Both of them are relevant to climbing, useful muscles to yeah. develop strength in, yeah. great to work and you can't get access to fingerboard, yeah. climbing wall. Yeah. 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 Okay, so uh, next exercise you can do is really good one for the shoulders. It's really simple, it's called, or it's a variation of the low row exercise. Yeah. You can actually do something very similar on TRX um, or rings as well, or even yeah. a TheraBand. Yeah. This one's good for the weights exercise. I'm yeah. show you two variations. Yeah. One which is an isometric contraction, so we're not moving through that movement, okay. we're just holding a certain position. Yeah. And the other is with movement, so concentric and eccentric landing yeah. of that muscle. So the first one, let's have a look at the uh, movement exercise. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the brace position here. Yeah. So you're going to be bringing your torso forward at maybe a 45 degree angle. Yeah. You can actually do this on uh, also on a bench. You can do it lying down. Yeah. There's lots of different variations, but we'll start here. Yeah. And then what we're going to be doing is taking our dumbbell. Yeah. And we're going to be bringing the fist back to level with the chest. Yeah. But we're really going to make sure that we're trying to keep this chest square. Yeah. So we're not rotating up and round, okay, yeah. and that we're bringing the shoulder back and keeping it back rather yeah. than trying to 
roll it in or up towards the ear. Yeah. We're really bringing that shoulder yeah. back to here. We're gonna bring it back down and bring it back again. Yeah. Try and keep that head neutral position, yeah. looking slightly forwards. Yeah. Not tip right down, not arch right back, not big arch in your back. Yeah. Just nice square position. Bring it back down. Yeah. Uh, your torso forward a little bit more, so a more close at 45 degrees. Yeah, that's good. And then just like this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay, I think you go heavier. Yeah. No problem at all with form. That's good. Try and keep the elbow in tight to the body. That's yeah. It. yeah, good. Good. Uh, so you bent over right. it depends on whether you're working ma maximum strength yeah. or whether you're trying to build muscle. Yeah. If you're trying to build muscle, then you're working typically in a range of around 8 to 12, 8 to 14 perhaps yeah. of reps. And then you might be doing anywhere upwards of two all the way up to sort of four, four yeah. sets, yeah. depending on how well trained you are as an individual. Yeah. So that's for muscle building. Yeah. If you want to work just maximum strength, so increasing your one rep max or your two yeah. rep max, then you'll be working much lower reps yeah. and you're down into the three to five rep range yeah. and you're doing a, a set range of anywhere from three to five. Okay, yeah, yeah. So the rep, amount of reps really drops down if you just want to think. Was that static position, Dr. Oh yeah, about? static as well. So this would be exactly the same thing, that when we have that position there, where we're bent forwards, we've got our uh, stable brace position, and we've got our row position, is we pick out a dumbbell and bring it back yep. and hold that position there for, we can do anything from 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, yep. but really concentrating on bringing that shoulder back, yep. contracting those muscles in the shoulder and holding that static position. Yep. It's very similar in a way to a dead hang yep. exercise, where we're creating a grip position, yep. holding for a number of seconds, yep and then relaxing. And we yeah. can do exactly the same with this basic low row exercise, yeah. which is making sure we get the shoulder back in the right position so that we're actually working yeah. the right group of muscles. Nice. So it's just another really good variation of it. Yeah. I mean, I, it's true for me as well as the person asking the question. So the question was, I've got terrible flexibility. Mm -hmm. what, should I, what should I work on? Okay, uh, so as I said, um, in the, I think it's in the other video, we talked about flexibility and how it's really important to be consistent and regular with it. Yeah. So that's the first thing to get across. If you want to make improvements, you're going to be, have to be consistent with this. Yeah. And uh, really regular, multiple times throughout the week. It doesn't matter so much about length of session you do, but you want to be really, really regular. Yeah. Uh, there's no, you know, it's not one of these areas of uh, sports science which has lots of concrete information that we can really heavily reliable rely on. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, disagreement and yeah. different methods and people have been very successful with flexibility training using one method. You see lots of uh, success using another method. Yeah. So we want to use a variety, I think is a safe way of doing it. Um, and ultimately the results will tell you how effective you've been. Yeah. But in my opinion, I think we want to look at a really good range of exercises when we're trying to work a particular area within our flexibility. So if we take, for example, we want to work on our hip flexibility, the ability to be able to sit with our legs crossed, or that if we bring our feet together, and yeah. that we can bring our knees out wide. Yeah. Likewise, if we are frogging to the wall, yeah. we can bring our uh, knees wide. Yeah. Or that when we're high stepping, we can do so in a nice wide position. Yeah. But to do that, you're not going to solve your issue with two stretches. Yeah. I couldn't go to you, just do a box split and just do this position here. Yeah. And I want you to do that for five years and you're gonna be the most flexible frogger you've ever seen. Yeah. That's just not the reality. What we wanna do is work through a range of positions and work the entire range of movements with the torso in different positions, the knee in different positions, and the hips in different positions yeah. so that we're really rounded. Best thing is, it's less boring yeah. doing that. Yeah, yeah. So let's go through a little routine of exercises that might help us work on our hip flexibility yeah. that you could then integrate into an evening ritual that you might do. Um, okay, so let's start off and let's take the simple frog position here. So it might be to this way. Yeah. So we might take this position here yeah. and uh, 
I don't think it's you know very very important where you put your torso in that okay. position. If you feel that you're so inflexible that you're sitting back, yeah. that's okay. At least yeah. you're getting on with the stretch and you're yeah. starting to work it. We can push a little bit down with our elbows yeah. and create a little bit of tension there. Yeah. But I think it's also important over time to then start to explore the range of motion that we have in our torso as well. Yeah. So if you grab my arms yeah. and then you pull me forward, uh -huh. so now I'm really feeling the stretch in my hips, yeah. so I'm being pulled forward, yeah. and then I will pull you forwards. Yeah. That's it. And then we might hold that for 10 seconds, 15 yeah. seconds or so. And then we'll release that. Yeah. And again, back again. Yeah. So now we're just re exploring a range of movement yeah. in our hips and our torso across it. Yeah. So we might do that for, we could cycle between that exercise for a minute, yeah. two minutes. Yeah. And then we, what we might do from there is bring one foot forward. Yeah. And bring the other foot in. Yeah. And now we're going to try, now bring our torso forward towards the extended leg. Yeah. And rolling over on it. Again, you might feel this one a little bit more stretched down the hamstring. Yeah. But again, we're still working with our hips turned out. Yeah. And we're just trying to change that position slightly. Yeah. And then if we rotate that torso over and bring our chest as far down as possible. Yeah. Got those, those smart <laughs> <sitting there. laughs> That's my signature scent. And then likewise, again, if we can try and keep our knee on the floor. Yeah. And then bring our back all the way down. <laughs> right arm, Tom. I can't. Come on. Oh, there we go. That's it. Yeah. Good. And then we come back up to the top again. And then we're going to bring our legs out straight. Yeah. So again, here is that might be a bit of a struggle to keep our torso upright. Yeah. So we might even just put our hands behind us. Yeah. And just push ourselves into that position. Yeah. So we've got a slightly more upright torso. Yeah. And again, from here, we can explore a range of movements. So yeah. we don't just sit in this position, yeah. going, oh, this is boring or this is painful. Yeah. We might rotate over to one side, yeah. push to the right. Yeah. Then we can rotate, push yeah. the, to the left. Yeah. Again, you can enjoy this one. Yeah. <laughs> he's loving this. He's definitely loving this. How is that? That's um, absolutely brilliant, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, it's fantastic. I'm loving life right now. And again, it's really easy to do with a partner. Yeah, yeah. And you can do this with Joe. Yeah. And you can both suffer through it. Yeah. And again, you just want to push each other to that point of discomfort, not yeah. total hideous pain, just yeah. a bit of discomfort, and holding that position. Yeah. So like, and then I can likewise pull you over to one side. Yeah. And then same again from the other side. Yeah. So just exploring lots of ranges of movements mm -hmm. through these. We can come back up and come onto our feet. And we can take a sort of a, I guess a one and a half width shoulder position. Yeah. And then what we can do is we can sit down into a squat in here. That's good. That's already too hard for me. So <laughs> quite hard. If we can try and bring our chest up a little bit yeah. more, so sitting back. So rather than here, sitting back a little bit more. That's good. And then we can bring our elbows on the inside and we can now push out on those elbows. It's really good. Yeah. Fairly uncomfortable. Yeah. And again, from here, we can explore a range of movement. So we can rock left and right. <laughs> like your knees are. Super healthy knees there. This starts to have a similarity to climbing as well. So we're yeah. really exploring the range of movement, but it's familiar yeah. and effective with climbing. Yeah. That's good. That's the last one. Okay, sit sure. back down the floor. Okay, take a movement here. So what we're going to do is try and create to 90 degree angles. So I'm just going to move a little bit over here. Yeah. So that knee needs to come forward because you want to have two 90 degree angles. Okay, yeah. That knee forward. So bring that knee to there. Uh -huh. And that heel about there. Yeah, so yeah. And from there, what we just want to try and do is sit upright as possible. The temptation is to be down here. Yeah but we want to try and sit up right as possible. Yeah. And you'll notice as you get more flexible on this over time, yeah. you will be able to sit up flexible. Yeah. And this is another really great exercise where we can explore a range of motion. From, yeah. from here is we're going to rotate the knees upwards, yeah. keep the feet where they are, yeah. and then come over to the other side. So a left and right version. Yeah. Each My thoracic brain is just having a So just bring moment. your knees upwards. Keep your heels with, heels where they are. Yeah, good, 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 good. <laughs> Knee down. 
Ah. Yeah, there you go. Try and keep that upright position. Now rotate back out again. So try and bring this knee back to there. Yeah. <laughs> really good. Yeah. And I don't know if you notice it, if you can imagine that position, that's remarkably similar to what you would do in a drop knee position yeah. on a climbing wall. Yeah. And you're rotating in and out of those yeah. drop knee positions. Yeah. So that's why I like doing these flexibility exercises in a range of motion, yeah. exploring lots of different movements yeah. because it's interesting, it's specific yeah. to the sport, yeah. and you just suffer way less boredom. Yeah. And so if you just looked at those exercises there, yeah. you could just go around in a round robin yeah. for 15 minutes, just doing those with each other, yeah. just moving and rotating yeah, yeah. between them. Yeah. It's not actually that boring. Yeah. Um, and none of it's too painful because you don't no. have to stay in any one position for that long. Yeah. That's a really, yeah, really good, effective way of yeah. working on the flexibility. And that's just, just your, your hips. <sighs> nice. So that was our um, little Q and A. We only really answered four questions, but like lots of questions revolve around the same things. I think it's more interesting to pick your brains about, you know, the physical training. The big subject. You know, the, those. Yeah. Bit, those. It was cool to pick your brains about those things rather than maybe going into, you know, if you want to go to a birthday party or that kind of thing. Like, like, yeah. Those were great questions and we did appreciate them. No, you're doing it now. Am I doing it? Yeah, you're no, doing you that. Do it. No, no, no. Cool. Well, brilliant. We've had a really good time. Um, thank you so much for answering those questions. Um, if you guys have any more comments or questions, pop them in the, in the comment section. Um, and I think you're going to maybe try and help answer some of those. So yeah, I will try and get online and I will try and answer as many questions as possible in the comments and yeah, if, if you can just try and, if you, when you ask us questions, and this comes up a lot on social media, try and make them reasonably specific and direct because it's quite hard to ask, answer really generalized questions. It makes my job impossible. So try and be specific and direct. Yeah, perfect. Um, yeah, so head over to Lattice, drop them a follow, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you soon. See you next week.